Hey gang, Scott here. I have a quick tip for you in Lightroom about dealing with uh, highlights and, and, and reining them in, especially when you're preparing something for print. Yeah, you know, maybe this borders on the, well, of course, Scott, that's exactly how I would do it. You're not telling me anything new. This That's totally obvious. But, uh, you know, there's been enough times where I've seen someone else do something that to them was completely obvious and to me was, was you know, game changing. Like, you know, wow, this, this was great. I needed that tip. So maybe this is that one for you. So uh, I'm working on this photo here and I, I like the photo a lot. I, I really like the way that the sky shaped up. But you can see in my histogram there, right up toward the top, I've got a little bit of clipping, a little bit of blowout in the highlights. I press the J key, we see those little flecks right up there in the top of the sky. Now, I've already done a lot of work in the basic panel. You can see, you know, highlights have been pulled down, you know, the white point's been adjusted. And if I keep fiddling with the globals, I'm going to affect the entire photo. And for these little tiny flecks, you know, for a screen share, for a social media, doesn't matter at all. When you're going to do the print, you want to have some amount of data there, something that's not just blown out. Otherwise, it's the tone of the paper because no ink will land on these little bits of spots. And that can look a little awkward. So the, the simple solution, grabbing a brush. I have a brush here. I'll turn this brush on. You're going to see those flecks disappear. Well, what did I do with the brush? Let me just uh, click on the brush or hover over it. All those little green little spots there. It's just a simple exposure, right? And just, just reducing exposure by a little tiny bit and just painting it in with a pretty weak brush. These aren't even full strength brush strokes. You can see that the, the flow and the density have been set lower. And I just built up a few brush strokes just enough to make those little flecks disappear. So when I have the highlights turned on here, my, my show clipping, right? Before that brushing, the clipping is there after it's not and I'm only treating that one little area of the photo that needed the work uh, in print prep. So uh, if you're really struggling to try to rein in highlights or open up shadows in a very select, very small area, don't do it globally. Grab a brush, start with a, a low density, a low flow and just slowly paint that in to, uh, to adjust and correct locally. Hope you found that helpful. If you got questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.